Step into reading step three. Beans Baker's best shot. The game was almost over. The score was tied with just seconds to play. The winner would go to the championship. Beans passed the ball to his best friend Chester, then raced toward the goal. Chester passed it back. Beans kicked with all his might. Goal! Great pass, shouted Beans. Great shot, Chester replied. Thanks, said Beans. Could I get a shot of the two stars? asked Beans' father. Oh, Dad, said Beans. The, champ the championship game was all Beans and Chester could think about. They made plans in their secretary house. If we win, let's put our trophies here, said Chester. Great idea, said Beans. It was the day before the big game. Coach Moonhong told Beans and Chester they would be the starting in the starting lineup. Way to go, Chester, shouted Beans. Way to go, Beans, shouted Chester. Out on the practice field, Beans raced for the ball. Chester raced too. They both kicked at the same time. Crunch! Oops, said Chester. Ouch, cried Beans. I'm sorry, said Chester. Oh, I'm okay, groaned Beans. We better have it x-rayed, said Beans' father. At the hospital, Beans and his father met with Dr. Walt. You'll be as good as new after the cast comes off, said Dr. Walt. Cast, cried Beans. Your foot has a fracture, explained Dr. Walt. The cast will help it to heal. But I will miss the championship game, cried Beans. Beans' friends were sad to see him on crutches the next morning. They tried to cheer him up. Chester was too nervous to talk to Beans. He hid as his best friend hobbled past him. Everyone has to sign Beans' cast, shouted Lindsay. It will be our good luck charm today. Unless Chester signs it, whispered Sheldon, then it will be our bad luck charm. Thanks to you, Beans can't play, said Sheldon. It was an accident, said Chester. I would never hurt Beans. We're best friends. You mean you were best friends, said Sheldon. Chester felt terrible. She couldn't sign Beans' cast now. After school, the team headed to the soccer field. Are we ready, Wildcats? asked Coach Moonho. Roar, went the team. Nobody noticed Chester sneaking the other way. The fans were arriving. The other team was on the field. Soon the big game would start. Chester has to sign my cast before the game, said Beans. Everyone looked around, but there was no Chester. Chester knows the game is starting, said Mo Molly Mo. Where is he? I think his feelings are hurt, said Russell. We have to find him, said Lindsay. Without him, we're doomed. Too bad Chester doesn't have a cast we could sign, said Sheldon. Why don't we sign a soccer ball for him, asked Coach Moonhill. That would cheer him up. Perfect, said Beans. Everyone wrote a message to Chester on the soccer ball. How are we going to give this to Chester? asked Molly Mo. We don't know where he is. Leave that to me, said Beans. The referee blew his whistle. The game was about to start. Hurry, said Russell. Good luck, Beans, said Molly Mo. We're counting on you, said Lindsay. I'll give it my best shot, said Beans. Beans knew right where to look, the secretary house. Special delivery for Chester, he shouted. Then Beans took careful aim and kicked. Whump! The ball flew right into the treehouse. Wow, said Chester. He read every message and smiled. So you were not mad? asked Chester. Beans shook his head. But I will be if you won't sign my cast, he said. 
Chester scurried down and signed Beans' cast. Best friends? asked Chester. Best friends, said Beans. Now come on, there's a championship game to win. Back at the soccer field, things were not going well for the Wildcats. They were behind by two goals. But when they saw Beans with Chester, everyone began to cheer. Are you ready to play, Chester? asked Coach Monhall. I will give it my best shot, said Chester. Good work, Beans, the coach said. The whole team began to play better with Chester on the field. Sheldon scored, then Russell scored. The game was tied. It looks like our luck is changing, shouted Beans. With just seconds to play, Chester passed the ball to Molly Mole, then raced toward the goal. Molly Mole passed it back. Chester kicked with all his might. Go! The Wildcats had won the championship. Everyone ran onto the field. They jumped up and down. They gave each other high fives. Chester was lifted onto his teammates' shoulders. After Coach Monhall handed out the trophies, it was time for the team picture. Great shot, Chester, said Beans. Your best shot ever. Thanks, said Chester. And this is our best shot ever, said Beans. Bye-bye.